but obviously a big difference in terms of experience. Now the handoff. Nick Grigsby is back in the CFL. It began with the Blue Bombers to Hamilton to Edmonton, and here. Has had some familiarity from their time together in Toronto. Second and 12. Little crossing pattern here. And down near the first down marker is Nick Grigsby. Grigsby, the former Arizona Wildcat, made such an impression when he went to Winnipeg. In fact, his first ever game against Ottawa, he had over 120 yards and three touchdowns as a Blue Bomber. It was his second game as a Bomber, first versus Ottawa. So. Now he is a member of the Red Blacks, and he was available. He was selling cars down in Florida. This was Nick Grigsby back in 2014. Yeah, Ottawa's season opener. Grigsby's second game as a Winnipeg Blue Bomber. He quickly established himself as a fan favorite thus far. All-time record for a season is 77.2%, set by Ricky Ray. Back in 2013. Did a nice job after the catch there as well. Harris throwing again out of the backfield is Grigsby. Slices one way and has about nine yards, very close to another first down, maybe eight for Grigsby. And it did well when Walker was hurt. Jeremiah Johnson. William Powell injured in the preseason this year. Edmonton tonight. The Rough Riders and Eskimos after this one. Great kick by Rob Maver. 109 yard field for the Red Blacks here. Grigsby gets the carry. It's not change. 41 year old Henry Burris says he's not done yet by any stretch. The funny thing about Henry is you look at him there and you see him as one of those guys who's going to be great whatever he chooses to do. And even though Trent's been magical for Greg Ellingson, has it not? <laughs> The miracle catch, of course, last November, East Final. Speaking of close battle, how about that catch by Sinopoli? Here's a pitch. And Nick Grigsby banged up, went to the sideline, looked after, and back out here now. Rumbles for eight. The rivals from the West. 13 13. has got a kind of a playoff intensity here tonight. Nick Grigsby. Grigsby. This is a guy, keep in mind, that hasn't exactly been in football playing shape over the last couple of months. Looking pretty good when asked here by the Ottawa Red Blacks, however. A nice job of play calling there, using their different personnel packages. That time, the fullback, Patrick Lavoie, was in. He's on the front side of the play. What they're doing, getting him up, blocking at the line of scrimmage, is essentially forcing Calgary to defend an extra gap at that line of scrimmage. It's flattening out the defense a little bit, taking away a second level defender. As you saw, once Grigsby got a crease, it turned into a big run. Grigsby's been a busy guy, just not on the football field. Here's Brent Wallace. Yeah, Rod, you could say he's motoring of a different kind, if you will. See, Nick Grigsby works at, as he says, the number one Kia dealership in the world in Florida, and that he's number 10 in sales. Now, he says he's very good at selling cars. He really likes it. We asked him, though, is there anything that there is with selling cars that you can relate to on the football field. And he goes, no, there's nothing like being in the box and eventually scoring a touchdown. He says the greatest feeling in the world. So for now, Nick Rigsby will look to try and continue his football career. The guys back at the shop, he says, are big football fans, so they welcome any chance he can be back on the field. All right, thank you, Brent. It's a great story. They're watching on ESPN3 tonight, I'm sure, down there. I'm sure sales are down a little bit because Grigsby's up here. That's right, number 10. It's a football player keeping the stats That's up. That's right. right. It's all about turnover. Grigsby in the backfield tonight, selling his game. First and 10. Back to him. Quick Nick. A little bit of that is the nature of the position, supply and demand, particularly for American running backs. Putting him to work tonight, punching the clock. Grigsby another first down, and he may find a new home here. I'll tell you, the similarity between 
playing pro football, particularly at a position like running back and selling cars, is you got to be productive if you want to stay in business. Nick Grigsby has been that when given the opportunity here tonight. Mattis, when he got his citizenship and was in the draft, he started calling him a Canuck. Far side, cut back. Grigsby again. Two major calls. They'll eat up some more clock and some more turf. 2.20 to go. Rigsby left side, finds the gap. Here, though, you bring out Milo and you give the ball back to the stands. Need a first down. Rigsby close to it. 